Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have five super easy crock pot meal ideas for you. I hope that you enjoy this video. Everything in this video is insanely easy, inexpensive, and healthy. So I hope that you all enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more meal ideas or more crock pot videos. And you'll see in this video that I'm using plastic liners around my crock pot. That is like a huge debate. If you don't want to use them, you do not have to use them. They are made for the crock pot, so just keep that in mind when you're watching this video. Um, anyway, enjoy. I hope this gives you some inspiration and let the crock pot be your friend. It is so easy to have a home cooked meal and it just is a huge time saver and I can't even tell you how much it has helped me all the way back from nursing school up until now being a mama. So I am very familiar with the crock pot and I hope you enjoy these recipes. Okay, so the first thing we're making is turkey chili. This is a family favorite and we have been making this for years. All you do is brown your turkey and I know a lot of people like to just dump things in the crock pot. This is the only recipe in this video that you need to actually cook the meat first. But So you cook the meat first and then we're going to go ahead and cut up one onion and I use yellow onions because I love how sweet they are. Now that our turkey is cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and add the onion. These are the spices that I use, salt, pepper, cayenne pepper, red chili flake, and chili powder. I take the cap off of the chili powder because I use quite a bit of it. And I just don't want you to get scared about spices because everybody has their own taste. I do not measure my spices, but I like to just kind of put a ton of chili powder and a little bit of the other spices. And then you'll see later that I add brown sugar to it, and I feel like that is the secret to why everyone loves my chili. As you can see, there's a piece of bread in the brown sugar, and that just keeps it from getting rock hard. Now we're just going to add a can of mild chili beans. I love this brand of beans from Aldi. It's like it has the best flavor to it. Or you could just use red kidney beans. I'm also doing a can of diced tomatoes. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix that all together. Sometimes I do add a can of crushed tomatoes as well. You can see right here I'm adding crushed tomatoes. It depends on if you like your chili to be thicker or more watery. But this is how it looks with the crushed tomatoes and the diced tomatoes. And this is the perfect consistency for our family, and I always make cornbread with it. Next up is my favorite potato and cheese soup. Again, this is super easy, and a lot of times you already have these things on hand. The first thing I'm doing is cutting up one yellow onion. And of course, I cry every single time I cut onions. I don't know about you guys, but it, the struggle is real. Now we're just dicing up some garlic. And we're just going to throw this into our crock pot. And then we are going to add some chicken broth. The broth that I'm using here is just the Target brand. And... We are gluten free so just make sure if you are gluten free that your broth says that it's gluten free because a lot of broths like to add flour. Now I'm just adding another box of chicken broth. While that's in there I'm going to get started on cutting my russet potatoes. Russet potatoes are not my first choice, but I'm just making this soup with everything that we had on hand. I usually like to use red potatoes in my soup, so again, that's your choice. You'd make the recipe the same exact way. Just make sure you choose the potatoes that you like more. Now we're just going to throw that into our broth and onion and garlic and stir it around and let that cook. I usually do high for four hours or low for six hours. My crock pot is super powerful and 
Um, I feel like it has a lot to do with how hot your crock pot gets. And now that that is done being cooked, I'm just adding a package of cream cheese, two packages of cream cheese. And I'm going to actually use my potato masher to uh, mash that all up. And as you can see, I left the skins on because I really, really like the skins of my potatoes in my soup. If you don't, all you do is just peel it, same exact recipe. And I'm just sprinkling some cheddar cheese on top. You can also add bacon and chives. That's like a really good combination. Again, I'm just using what I have on hand. This next recipe is literally just chicken and slow cooker buffalo chicken sauce and it's delicious. We love having this over tortilla chips or with rice and it's so easy. You can find it at any grocery store. And now for our chicken and rice soup, I'm chopping up some carrots and some celery. You have to do however much carrots or celery you like because most recipes call for like two carrots and two stalks of celery, but I love a lot of vegetables in my soup. So it's really on preference and that's it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all that stuff up and then I'm also cutting up four cloves of garlic because with the chicken soup and with most soups, the garlic and the onions, those kind of things really give your soups a lot of flavor. Um, so that's why I like to use quite a bit of garlic and onion in my soups. I'm just using three chicken breasts for this recipe and then just putting all of those vegetables in as they are all at the same time. I just wanted to show you guys how I was keeping my mess in the measuring cup and just throwing it away easily. Again, using two boxes of chicken broth for this and then I'm gonna add some bay leaves, that's also optional. Um, and just gonna do the same thing and let that cook on four hours on high or six hours on low. Again, it really depends on your crock pot. Another thing is if you want it to meal prep on Sunday, you can make this for lunches or if you want it to meal prep and just cut the produce up to throw in your crock pot the next morning, you could do that as well. I like a little bit of a kick to my soup, so I add cayenne. I also add some thyme and some salt and pepper. Again, adjust things to your taste and don't be afraid of spices. You really cannot go wrong. Right when that is done cooking, I'm just adding a cup of rice. You can add as much rice as you like. I only add one cup because I like my soup more brothy. And then I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook for about like 10 more minutes. And this is a delicious, super easy homemade soup. When you stir it, the chicken will easily just shred by itself. Now we are making creamy chicken with broccoli. If you are not gluten free, I totally suggest buying a packet of Italian seasoning and using that instead of the spices I'm using. So you need three chicken breasts, a cup of water, I'm doing three tablespoons of different spices or you could just do the uh, packet of Italian seasoning. I let that cook on four hours on high and then I added a thing of cream cheese. I let that melt and then I add my broccoli, let that cook for a little bit and just mix everything up. This is really good over pasta or with rice or just by itself. I also really recommend using chicken thighs in place of the chicken breast for any of these recipes. It just gives it a lot more flavor. I use chicken breast because that's what I had on hand. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and break out your crock pot, guys. It's so easy to have homemade, healthy, and delicious meals, and there is always leftovers. So